are going to die. Go too right. fast. I'm, going, I'm, I'm going, taking three. I'm going for the St. Louis now. Oh, no. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you get your two? <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the channel everyone, Thoughtgore here of course, and I've got two clips today. Uh, first one we're looking at is uh, Hotspot, and I'm in my Mogami this time. Now it is the 5 point uh, Hotspot version as opposed to the 3 point Hotspot version. So I'm showing this clip today um, just because I, I do like the strategy I use uh, right at the beginning in order to move from my most immediate point here being A down to the southern point directly below A. Um, a lot of people will comment on different strategies they use on this map I suppose or um, maybe even how the map is unfair I guess or um, you know favor certain sides uh, for spawning and I tend to agree with that um, but you you know there are ways that you can uh, mitigate against that, and you know ways that you can even avoid it altogether. Um, and hopefully, I mean, from this point uh, that I spawned at, and hopefully at the end of the clip, might give you some ideas on how to go about doing it. The most obvious solution to meet up with your allies on this map is to go directly down into the center point C and meet up with them there. Uh, that is such a terrible strategy though. Um, I'm not going to say it doesn't work, I have seen it work. Uh, but generally it's really chancy and uh, whether or not you're going to live is <laughs> totally up to uh, old Iron Jesus there. Because um, I mean as soon as you move into the C point the enemies who've spawned in the other corners of the map are then going to be able to fire upon on, or fire down on you. So you're being fired on from two sides essentially. It can be really disorientating at times. Uh, when this is happening and, and typically you're going to die fairly easily. Um, any allied ships you might have around, they'll probably go down as well. Um, so what I do instead, and it's, you know, not this isn't my strategy. People do this all the time. I'm just highlighting it to show that, you know, this kind of works and can work at times. So we've taken our point and now I'm going to go behind the islands here. I'm not, I'm not going to go into the center, into those little islands, and fight it out and close the distance with the battleships, you know, and any potential cruisers or destroyers that may be there, no. Um, I, that Cleveland and I, he and I are going to go uh, around these islands here. We're going to be using them as cover, essentially, and taking shots off um, at any ships that present themselves. I like this, I like doing this, because not only are we using the islands as cover, uh, we're breaking contact with the enemy, so they might not be able to see you when you're back here if they don't have any air, air planes in the air. And hopefully, you're going to catch someone who doesn't expect you to be there. Um, you know, surprise them and, and get that kill, or, or help the ally get the kill, you know. So, I, I like doing this when I spawn up here in the northeast like this. So right off the bat, we've got two destroyers that pop out. Uh, one of them's a Farragut, and I believe the other one's a Hasuaru. Uh, not 100% sure on that, but the Farragut's the closest target anyway. So we're going to put some shots into him. Uh, I don't have a shot on him because he's craftily using the island there as cover. He sent out his torpedo spread, you can see it there, so I have to turn to avoid these torpedoes. I do not want to get hit by the torpedoes. <laughs> so we're going to dodge these torpedoes here. On a side note as well, for the love of God, people, look at the range of your torpedoes before you enter battle. Ma, ugh. I had like three games last night where people in, uh, it happened twice, you know, I assume it was a new player in an Otago, uh, had no idea what was going on and shot his torpedoes at a target that was 20 kilometers away, right in front of me, and killed me. It was terrible. Uh, similar situation in a Minecaze battle I had last night. Um, shot the torpedoes off, it was uh, Phoenix, the target was 10 kilometers away, his torpedoes do 5.5, so he figured he's going to hit that target, shoots off his torpedoes and hits me and kills me. For the love of God, people, learn your torpedo ranges. Oh, I can't, I just can't stress it enough, but anyway, that's enough raging. So you can see, I got a nice uh, subtle hit on the Otago out there, that Otago beached himself. I really wanted to get more shots into him, but I couldn't because I was using this mountainous cover. Um, it's not just the Otago that's over there, so there was that New York, and uh, I think there was another battleship as well. So I'm using the islands as cover, I'm breaking away from my Cleveland buddy, 
because he wants to fight it out in that little gap, whereas I do not. Um, so we have the Hatsuaru pops up again. So we're going to put some shots into this guy. Mm. Little bit of coffee there. Um, and you can see I, my first rounds were armor piercing because that's what I was shooting at the Utago. So I shoot those off and immediately start reloading high explosive. It's fairly obvious, you know, when you come across a destroyer, get your high explosive in there. Got New York out there on the verge of that cap point. He seems to be reversing, so I wasn't too concerned with him at this time, but uh, <laughs> you're going to see shortly <laughs> that maybe I should have paid some more attention to him. <laughs> so there's a Hatsuara once again. Armor, or no, not armor piercing. High explosive is loaded, and I take a, uh, take a shot off at him. Wow. <laughs> I got the lucky detonation there on him, so that's not too bad. Um, I, I can, you know, there's not a whole lot to say about that. It was just luck. There was no skill involved whatsoever, um, and he's gone. But I can tell you that Aaron Jesus is mm, a cynical, cynical individual. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about shortly. <laughs> So the New York is there. He continues to back up, so I continue to put shots into him. I uh, unloaded my high explosive, and now I'm switching over to armor piercing and putting those into him. I am detected, uh, but it's the New York that's detecting me. Um, that or some other ship that's nearby. I'm not concerned about being detected at all. Mm. More coffee. <laughs> so there's New York. He keeps putting shots into me. Uh... Again, with battleships, you know, I understand why you would want to come to a stop and, and, you know, fire shots off at something. But as soon as you start receiving shots from a, an enemy ship that's close to you, like I am to this New York, I would suggest getting your, uh, getting your, your steam built up or whatever and putting it into full speed and getting out of there. Because when you, when you try to get out at the last minute, especially when you're coming across a Japanese cruiser who has torpedoes that will do a 10, or that have a 10 kilometer range, Mm, chances aren't great. <laughs> so he did fire a salvo at me. You can see I, I put my ship straight onto him to present as little of target as possible in hopes that he would do as little damage as possible. It kind of worked. I did take quite a bit of damage, but not too bad. So there's my torpedoes. They are going off. I'm feeling pretty confident at this point in battle. Um, you know, we, we took out a few, or I took out at least one ship, but the Allied team, we've got three out of five points. Um, everything is looking fairly good at this time. Taking some fire, but I'm not really concerned. Ah, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Remember I said Iron Jesus was a cynical individual? Well, there we go. Yes, sure, I got detonation on that Hasuaru. Uh, in return, I paid for a detonation, but <laughs> I still did get that damn New York. <laughs> so... <laughs> so you would think it'd be, you know, the, the video would be over at this point nothing more to show ah, but it's not surprisingly um, there is a destroyer I'm flipping over to him right now it's a Misuki um, S-P-H-E-E-X I don't really know how to pronounce that Sphinx? I don't know we're going to call it starts with an S let's go with Stan Stan here in his Mitsuki um, we can see I'm just sort of you know introducing him now we're looking at it of course, you know, this individual has no idea that I've recorded. Um, I just, I, I, he, he got a really nice kill, and I wanted to show it off. <laughs> so you can see he's in the northwest of the map right now. He was with this part of the group that took that northeast, or sort of the southeast, southwest point, rather, pushed to the point north of it. Uh, those allies did take it. They've managed to get kill out the enemies here. Uh, we are going to win this battle, and we'll take a look at the final results once it ends. Um... But most importantly here, uh, what Stan, that's what I'm calling him, yeah, Stan, what Stan is doing here um, is really quite nice. Uh, you can see that he's you know, shooting off the torpedoes at any targets that present himself. Uh, he didn't get that initial kill, another ally did get it, and the torpedoes he's currently firing uh, aren't actually going to hit anything. But uh, even though your torpedoes might not hit anything, you know, it still makes the enemy think twice about doing whatever it is they were thinking about doing, which is always nice to do. <laughs> if you can make the enemy question the strategy they're employing, uh, you know, good job to you. I need a lot of coffee this morning. <laughs> Not that it was a rough night or anything last night, 
just I don't know it's it's you know it's fairly nice day in the morning drinking coffee it's amazing <laughs> so Stan is turning around you can see he has mentioned that he's going to be heading over to sea uh, he might not have mentioned it in, in chat just yet but he will very shortly so we're going to skip ahead I'm not going to, we're not going to follow him over uh, to see here so uh, several minutes later as you can read there Stan is coming into uh, the channel that leads into the sea point and there's the New Mexico this is the kill I wanted to uh, to show off here I mean typically in, in my ex it, you know if it was me this would be so risky and I don't know if I'd be able to pull it off I'd be so afraid of getting uh, getting killed but uh, I don't know Stan doesn't seem to have any issues with it at all <laughs> So charging right for the New Mexico, uh, pops his smoke, and the smoke does seem to be really helping here, which is surprising because he's going forward so fast. You would think that the you know he'd be coming out of the smoke, but you can see the New Mexico's popping in and out there. So I imagine Stan's doing the same on the New Mexico side. Look how close he's getting here. That is ridiculous. <laughs> and managing to dodge all the incoming fire, like from the secondary batteries and whatnot. This New Mexico has no chance at all. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> so that was a great kill. Um, I really thought that that was uh, some good, good captaining there uh, by Stan. Now the overall results for the battle weren't too bad. I mean, I did die fairly early on, um, but I managed to kill detonation, so I got the flag. I got the only, f uh, but a flesh one as well, and a devastating strike. Um, and obviously I am complimenting Stan, because that was a nice kill I saw. <laughs> so he gets a compliment. Um, I mean, the enemy team didn't really show up in this battle. It was kind of hard for them to do anything, really. Um, our, our team was sort of uh, was spread out and really had control of the five points. Um, so you can use that behind the island strategy if you are on that map. It does work out well if you don't get detonated. <laughs> so the next battle here we're looking at, uh, I'm in my Congo, and I'm on New Dawn. Um, so I think this might be the first video I've showed of my Congo, maybe. I don't show many battleship videos, as you guys know, because I, I tend not to do too great in them. Uh, you could definitely get victories in them and whatnot, but my role is really more of a supporting role. Um, I'm not getting a whole, lot of, um, a whole lot of hits or doing a whole lot of damage or kills because I'm in the back. I, I love my battleships, don't get me wrong, but I, I just don't play them as, as aggressively, I guess, as my, uh, my cruisers and my destroyers. But anyway, New Dawn uh, in the Congo, and you can see the way that the team is dispersed here, the way we spawned in, that it makes sense for us to take the A and the B point. And luckily that's what the team is doing as well. You don't have any idiots who are um, going to go off to the C point there in the south all by themselves and just die. So that was nice to see, especially in these early tiers. Um, going back to the whole knowing your torpedo range rage I had earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it's in these lower tier battles that I find it, it happens a lot. Uh, nine times out of ten it'll happen in one of these lower tier battles. If not, it's going to happen in a tier eight battle with some idiot who just purchased the Otago and doesn't know anything about torpedoes on the Otago, how they work, or their ranges involved. So, I don't want to get too into this because I will just start raging and it'll turn out to be like a ten minute rage, so no need for that. Just know your damn torpedo ranges people can't stress it enough <laughs> so I do have some allies with me and um, you can see that allies are taking the B point at this time and my group up here we're moving into the A point I really love the Congo um, battleships in general I'm on the fence with but if we're gonna talk about battle cruisers I understand right now in the game there are no official wargaming battle cruisers but if we're talking about battle cruisers the Congo and the Imagi those are my two favorite battleships and the whole reason for it is because of their speed both ships can do 30 knots and, th and that's what I want I want a ship that's uh, that's fast um, I know that I don't have on the Congo and on the Imagi that you don't have the armor you do say on a Nagato or uh, not the Fuzo. The Fuzo is a battleship, but it was converted from a Congo, and the Congo was originally battle cruiser. So, yeah, we'll say Nagato. So not the Nagato. But anyway, uh, really nice battleship. I really enjoy it. Um, I like playing these lower tier battles as well. I'm just hesitant to do so because of um, 
any new players that might be here and the the idiocy that that usually spawns so <laughs> sorry to be so harsh but <laughs> it's true <laughs> so looking at the minimap we can see our team is in B uh, we are capping it at the moment and uh, the enemy team is fairly close so they're they're trying to contest it uh, but my northern group here we're moving into a fairly uncontested there's that Furutaka that we're shooting at mm. more coffee so we're shooting at the Furutaka now I wanted this guy to die um, but I was aware of you know the positioning of my guns on the battleship I was fa my, my guns are all to the port so I don't want to turn and then turn all the turrets to the starboard side and get maybe one or two shots off at the Furutaka instead I'll keep them to the port and I'll start shooting at targets on the port I've got allies in this point who can take out the Furutaka, so they'll do their job. So St. Louis, target's going in, St. Louis is dead. <laughs> that, oh, that was pretty great. Um, that's another reason why, <laughs> why I love these uh, Tier 5 battles as well, is it's really, really easy to, uh, to get kills and to just destroy people, because, uh, you know, people are still learning at this stage. Mm. Not to be too cynical about it, but yeah, I do definitely love to take advantage of that. <laughs> so there's a South Carolina. Um, we're going to be putting some shots into him. And I'm turning now because we have a, the Furutaka, um, I believe is, no, he's not dead yet, but he, he's going to die. Um, I've got enough allies here at this A point that I don't have to stick around anymore. Let's go to B and support B because you can see the enemy team took C and now they're pushing B. They're putting a lot of pressure on that B point, and we don't want to lose it. So that's what I'll go and, uh, and try to do here anyway. So moving into the B point, you can see there are a lot of enemy ships around, um, but equally there are a lot of ally ships around. So, you know, it looks fairly good at this time. The same South Carolina comes back, so we're going to keep putting shots into that guy. Um, South Carolina really is a terrible battleship. <laughs> it's just awful. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean at tier 3 uh, the only comparison you can give it is the Quachi and the Quachi is also pretty bad although I can say uh, that in my Quachi I did have fun in it um, I, I like being able to shoot from like both sides at the same time the way the turrets are positioned on the Quachi that's that's what it has going for it South Carolina doesn't even get that <laughs> so <laughs> there goes the South Carolina excellent excellent um, didn't need him coming into that B point and potentially uh, doing damage to any allies. So not too bad at all. And you can see I'm not even in the B point yet, but obviously, you know, the ranges of a battleship and, and the damage you're going to do with your shots, you can start picking off enemies uh, well before you actually get there. And that's what I'm doing as well. Um, I mean, as a side note as well, I'm hoping that by seeing uh, the enemies, by seeing, you know, the their allies just explode in front of them, that that will make them question whether or not they really want to push into this point or not. It doesn't really work, but I like to think at times that it does. <laughs> now there, uh, there's an Omaha, I believe. Hard to see, but anyway, there's an Omaha, so we're going to try and do something about that, help out the ally uh, that's shooting into him now, and uh, obviously the Congo there in the background as well, so he's a pretty big target, or a pr pretty big threat to us as well. Because uh, obviously, you know, I'm the equivalent uh, to him on my team. So I do put shots into the Congo, but they weren't great. Um, and my ally, unfortunately, did die. So not too great, but um, there are still more allies around. And I'm now in the B point, so um, they're not going to be taking this point at all. They'll have to kill me first to do it, right? So there's the, the enemy Omaha again. Uh, we're going to put more shots into that guy. Uh, but, you know, as I said in many videos, I do really struggle to actually hit Omaha's and Phoenixes at range. Uh, they're just so fast. Uh, they're basically like a destroyer, right? Like a, a lead destroyer. That was their role, scout cruiser, lead destroyer uh, type ship. So it makes sense that they're fast and agile. Now, what else do we have going on? We still have the Congo to deal with. We can see some uh, friendly torpedoes are going off into the Congo, though. And my allies, I've got some, uh, at least one destroyer, maybe two destroyers down there. Uh, no, one destroyer and another, 
well, just one destroyer <laughs> down there uh, contesting the C point, at least putting pressure on the enemies that are in the C point. So that's good as well. And um, in terms of overall points, we are behind, but uh, we have the the cap advantage or the, the point advantage here. So uh, that should be closing up shortly. And especially as we start killing off uh, some of these enemy ships, um, of course, you know the points are going to come down more and put us into the lead. It's always something you want. <laughs> So putting off some more shots there into the cruiser, uh, the enemy ships that were putting pressure on B, I guess, you can see they, they're not actually in B, they're just sort of circling around it. Um, so we are going to be turning uh, our guns around to the starboard side to see if we can't get some shots off at these guys as well. Um, hopefully kill them and save the B point as well. Because um, with, the, with the points being as close as they are, um, and I say close loosely, <laughs> with the points being as close as they are at this point in time in the battle, um, you know, any ship that you can kill is really, really going to help out. Um, obviously, you know, the bigger ships are going to be worth more points, but don't don't necessarily let that cloud your judgment as to which ship you're going to kill. Obviously, try and take the ship that's going to die um, the quickest, given the, the ship that you're in. Uh, that's the one that you're going to want to uh, take out, or uh, you know the, the biggest threat to you. Uh, don't look and say, well, there's three ships there, but the one in the back's a battleship. He's worth more points, so I'll kill him. If it's advantageous to do so, then obviously go ahead and do it. If not, um, you know probably you're going to want to kill the ship that's closest to you. <laughs> so we circled around the island, met up with more allies here. Um, that's a Miyogi in front of me. There's another Omaha pretty sure it's an Omaha. It might be the same one, actually. Uh, but we're going to put shots into this guy. Uh, he can't be allowed to stay around for too much longer. A little more coffee. And, um, and see that Miyogi there in the background? He is actually AFK. It took me a while to realize that. I thought he was just sitting there, fire, like using his range to fire into B. And so for a while I thought he was a pretty big threat, but no, he's AFK. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got our Wyoming here. Yeah, that's a Wyoming or a New York. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to put shots into that guy as well. Not too bad. Um, now I find the Wyomies especially when I'm in this when I'm in the Congo, I find that the Wyomies really easy to kill. Uh, the armor on them isn't that great, but you definitely notice the, or at least I definitely notice the difference between the Wyoming and the New York in terms of armor. Um, I can get you know, shots into a New York, no problem at all, um, with, or shots into a Wyoming, sorry, no problem at all, do some good damage, but when it comes to the New York, um, I'm not going to say you really have to aim your shots, but it's, I don't know, it's more difficult, my, my shots tend to do a lot more spalling damage than actual you know, citadel penetrations or, you know, hull penetrations that do large amounts of damage, probably has something to do with the side belt armor and the way the, the shots are coming in, like the trajectory of the shots and how they're hitting the, the actual ship themselves, but eh, it's too complicated for me right now. Yeah, there's the Miyogi again, you can see, I didn't know that he was AFK, so <laughs> I was like, that son of a bitch, he's firing into our B point, so I'm, you know, putting shots into this guy, trying to kill him. Um, I thought he was just sitting there, but no, AFK. <laughs> now, uh, we're coming around the island again, and uh, we still have that Omaha off in the distance. There he is. He's kind of being a bit of a nuisance at this time, especially considering I only have four ally ships left, um, and they've got more than us, so yeah, kind of concerning, but overall the points, we are leading in points at this time, so that's nice. Uh, the advantage of obviously of having, you know, if there's three points, of having two points to their one, uh, over time you're obviously going to uh, close that gap up and hopefully win it, unless, you know, um, your team is just a bunch of special people <laughs> who who die right away. <laughs> now, um, what is that? That's the Omaha again. So I am going to get this guy. Can't let him live. Um, I felt cheap about actually killing him because I didn't do a whole lot of damage to him. It was really the team who did it. And uh, I know I've said it all the time when, you know, when it, when an ally steals, now I'll use steal least, uh, loosely, when an ally steals one of my kills, I always say, you know, he didn't steal the kill, it's fine. 
uh, we did it for the team, right? That's that's how I look at it. But a lot of people don't, and uh, I was concerned <laughs> that when I actually did kill the Omaha, because he was on such low health, that people would start raging out, oh, you know, he stole my kill, stole my kill. Teach their own, I suppose, uh, but you really need to look at the bigger picture here. It's We're not s stealing each other's kills. We're all on the same team. We're all trying to win, so... You know, try to keep that in mind. So I did put some shots into the destroyer, but yeah, they they didn't really have much of a chance of hitting anyway. Uh, really hard to hit destroyers at range when you're in your battleships. But you do see that Omaha. There he is, same Omaha, bane of the of my existence for this battle. And he's almost dead, duking it out with an ally of mine. Um, so I'm going to put some shots into him. He killed my ally. Can't let this guy go on anymore. Once I'm reloaded, there we go. Uh, we're going to let him turn, and then I'll put the shots into him like that. So that's not too bad at all. And we get him. Excellent. Uh, so he's gone. So that's one more enemy gone. And uh, now we're actually tied for uh, for overall ships remaining. So three on three. And uh, we're closing the points. Uh, or rather, we're, we're uh, expanding the point gap uh, like every minute here. So it's really nice to see. Now I've got this... Um, what is he? I think it's an Isokaze. Uh, no, 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 that's a tier 3. The uh, Wikitake, yeah. So I've got him there. Um, I, I really got a nice hit on, on that destroyer. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it at all. I uh, did a lot of damage. I mean, it's unsurprisingly, I suppose, right? He's tier 3, so uh, if any hit you get, you're going to do a considerable amount of damage. I managed to dodge all his torpedoes, which was fantastic. And uh, we're turning away from him because he does have a uh, pretty quick reload on the torpedoes and I don't want uh, to get killed by them. Um, and ultimately I do end up killing him. My secondary battery set him on fire. He wasn't able to repair it and I got him. So that was nice uh, nice as well. Now the last enemy here, Furutaka, once again. Um, and we're going to put some shots into that guy. And there he goes, gone. Uh, so that's my fifth kill uh, for the game. It's not too bad at all. And the enemy team uh, only has one ship left, um, There's n and it, it's the AFK Miyogi, so <laughs> there's nothing more that they can do. Uh, we've won the battle. We're just going to turn, I'm going to try and get any last shots off that I can into that guy for some extra damage, extra experience, and extra credits. Because um, again, I'm still trying to save up more and more money here to um, for the modifications on my Fubuki. I do have the Megami fully upgraded now, which is great. Uh, all the modules are bought on it, uh, but not the Fubuki as of yet. Still need more money for that. And it's, oh my god, it's so expensive. <laughs> so there, there's a Miyogi getting some last shots into him. We're at about 980 on the point, so not too bad again. Um, and we really have, you know, we really uh, did a good job in this. You can see right at the beginning of the battle, uh, we took the points that were most... Uh, convenient for us based on where we spawned A and B took those points and then we once we took A those people uh, myself included who took A then pushed down into B defended and pushed beyond B so that's on this map that's what you want to consider uh, when you've got these three points overall results weren't too bad uh, I wasn't top of the team uh, by any means uh, well second overall but you can see like the five kills that I did get um, majority of those were on ships that were already fairly damaged and I was just finishing them off for the team but still overall good game so thanks so much uh, for watching today guys that'll finish it for today um, you know be sure to like comment uh, don't forget uh, today and tomorrow to check out Game Goon's uh, stream I'm gonna put it in the comments uh, the link to the Twitch channel in the comments once again today um, and as always I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day